Lincoln went to the dogs this past April. <laughs> Beacon Bark celebrated its eighth year and the fun pet friendly event was well attended once again. How are you? What brought you out here? We've been coming here for the past three years. Okay. And uh, we, we found it by accident. We've never been here before. We, she found it online and we just decided to come down to get the dogs out yeah. after the long winter. Why do you think it's important to have events like this where we support, you know, humane treatment of dogs and it's all about dogs today. Well, the public needs to be aware. There are Puppy mills, there are places that do not take good care of animals, and these pets are my children. And I take good care of my babies. I'm here with Jackie Rose, Executive Director of the Dutchess County SPCA. So, Jackie, talk about today's event. It's a huge event for the SPCA, right? It is a huge event. We are so excited that we have what an incredible turnout today. The weather's beautiful. Last year we had somewhere between four and 5,000 people, and I think we may beat that this year. There's nothing more special than a best friend, and what a great way to have fun with them and come out and honor them. And help support money to raise the ones who are waiting for a home, just like this little guy Jeter here. Talk about Jeter and other dogs and cats and, and birds that are shelter animals, how, how special they are. The wonderful thing about shelter animals is that they're grateful. They know that when they go home with someone who's taking them, they are just grateful to be there. I always grew up with a dog. I had a Rottweiler when I was little, and um, they just become a part of your family, and it's a great bond for any kid to have. All of the animals that we have at the Dutchess County SPCA are waiting for a family to come in and adopt. We have wonderful cats, dogs, and you're right, we have a parakeet right now, as well as some rabbits and guinea pigs. So we've got a whole <laughs> zoo, if you will, and they're just waiting for someone to take them, love them. You know, we talk about it all the time. Pets just want unconditional love from us, and they give nothing more than unconditional love to everybody else. That's it. Talk about, Zoe, the relationship that you have. Oh, God. Chris will tell you, we're too close. Well, <laughs> if you spend 24-7 with her, you know, I guess she's going to be close to me. I waited till I retired from the Department of Corrections. And here's Shay, who won the funniest costume category. She's a lobster in a pot. Here, hold on, you go put your head on. Yeah. There you go. This is her fourth year coming. Since we picked her up, we actually started coming here, you know, supporting the, the local dogs and adoptions and everything. And she actually came from a garage sale up in Buffalo. $20, so we, I consider her a little bit of a rescue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Tell me about the joy that she brings. Um, my dad actually was disabled when we first got her, and he was just started taking her for walks farther and farther and was able to kind of extend how long he could walk with her. So she's kind of like a therapy dog for us. She brings us a tremendous amount of joy. She's hilarious. She runs around. She'll sit in baskets for you. You pretty much do whatever you want to her. This is Ivy Grace. Uh, she's a three-year-old white golden retriever. Um, she's a therapy dog. She was hit by a car a little over a year ago, and we've been doing rehab with her since her surgery. So tell me what type of bond you have with Ivy Grace. Um, she's like my second daughter. She is definitely a family member. She's just an awesome, awesome dog. I'm here with Mary Jean Kelly from Unionvale, and she just adopted Wyatt, a senior dog. Mary Jean, tell me why it's important to, to consider adopting a, a senior dog. A senior dogs are the best because they, they come already made. Uh, all you'd have to do is supply the love, and they have so much love to give you, too. Um, they really need a home, and the older they get, the less likely they're going to find a home. So um, I, I can't tell you enough. It's it's just the way to go. We're so bonded. Uh, you know, I think they know. They realize what you know what you're doing for them is just such a great thing. I needed I needed someone to love, and he needed someone to love. So we luckily found each other, and and it's a happily ever after story. So we had a great day today here at Beacon Barks. Thousands of people, thousands of their vets, all in support of animal advocacy. Reporting here in Beacon, I'm Donna Ryer.